Hello YouTube, welcome to another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle with your host, Ninetale Ninetales. This match is against the one, the only, Sherlock's 31. He's a pretty cool guy, not gonna lie. He's part of the Squirrel Squad. Yep. So anyway, things are lagging out. There we go, that's better. Okay. So this is a, I guess an OU match, um, even though I didn't bring very many OUs. I brought Nine Tails and I think Starmie, which, why the heck do I have those two on the same team? I don't even, I, I don't even. And he only brought like, oh, what's OU on his team? Thunderous? Maybe that's his only OU. This, it was, this battle was just for fun. We were just on Skype, you know, just chilling and we had a battle. Leads off with him on Lee, and I'm gonna lead off with Nine Tails. Um, I don't use Nine Tails that often, but I finally made Nine Tails, so let's use Nine Tails. Um, I'm gonna go for the Overheat, and with the Sun Stab and the fact that I am Choice Bex, that will easily one hit KO Hit Mon Lee, which is awesome because like Choice Bex and the Sun, it's a no-brainer, right? So anyway, he's gonna send in the sand slash because I am at minus two now, but I'm gonna go for another overheat just for the hell of it. Cause I mean, a base 140 move with stab in the sun, it's it's just insanely powerful. Like it, it one shots the sand slash, which I mean, a sand slash probably would have survived without the choice specs if he had max HP anyway. So yeah. So he sends in Thunderous, and I'm at minus four, it's not worth it staying anymore, so I send in Furrier, which is my right Furrier, and he goes for Bolt Switch, and I was like, that's not gonna work, buddy. So I know he's gonna regular switch this time, and I'm gonna go for a Rock Polish. Um, this is a pretty cool set. Um, I made it on my own, but I don't know if, I'm pretty sure someone's used it before. But, anyway, just for the heck of it, I'm gonna stay in and go for a Fire Punch, just cause it's in the sun, I wanna see how much it was gonna do, you know. It's not really a move I would normally make, but I thought, you know, why the heck not? So, yeah. I'm gonna withdraw, go back to the Nine Tails, and this is gonna be okay. He gets a one call mine, but then again, an overheat in the sun is gonna be pro. So, I think uh, he's gonna stay in and just take the overheat, because that overheat is gonna hurt anything. So it's not really worth it to switch out so it could hurt something else. So he actually survives and goes in at, for an, a Shadow Ball and actually gets a special defense drop. And it's not going to be a huge deal on a choice item poke. Um, if I was running a bulky Ninetales like I used to use in 4th gen, um, I might be kind of mad. But yeah, I'll take him out with another overheat. Um... I actually stay in and take a thunder from Galvantula because I don't think it's choice specs. Um, but he gets a crit there, so I still don't know uh, whether or not it's choice specs. But most of these things are choice in some way, so I go into Flygon. And he sends in Thunderous, and I go for an Outrage, which is going to do a lot to Thunderous. I don't think it KOs because I'm not running an Advent Nature, I'm running a uh, Jolly Nature to outspeed Hydreigons and stuff like that. So, two Outrages will kill him, and I luckily get a third Outrage, but I kind of would have liked to be able to switch here, but you know what, luck's not on my side for that part. Um, he goes for an Ice Beam, and I'm pretty sure that KOs. Should, should KO. Yeah, definitely KOs. Anyway, what's gonna happen next? I've only watched this battle, like, when it happened. Oh yeah, I go into Mary Jane. I don't know why I went into Mary Jane. Did I think I could KO this thing? I, yeah, don't KO it. I don't... Yeah, I go into, uh, Mary Jane because it's chlorophyll. I don't know what my reasoning behind going to Mary Jane there. That was kind of a weird play. I probably... I had a Starmie that could... Who cares? Okay, I'm gonna go for a Fire Punch. And I actually do outspeed the Reg Ice, which is hilarious. Because right here is really freaking slow. So, anyway. 
uh, this match is about to get wrapped up. Uh, he goes into Galvantula and I believe this is his last poke, and he locks himself in the energy ball. Um, and that's going to be an easy KO for uh, Rhyperior because uh, Solid Rock isn't like, it doesn't have super effective moves. Uh, it doesn't cut him in half anymore. It just like 25% I think now, so. Yeah, I actually survived the energy ball on my Starmie and go for a Hydro Pump, but I'm in the sun, so it's kind of useless. I don't know why I brought the Starmie. Seriously. Anyway, I just wanted to post this battle because I had nothing to post, so, you know, I had nothing to post, so I thought this would be good. Go in the uh, Jolteon, and I go for a Hidden Power, I guess, Fire? Did I go Fire? Can't remember if I went Fire. Uh, but yeah, so that's good game, Sherlock, he's a great guy, check out his channel. He has some great stuff on there. Check out the Squirtle Squad X. Um, I'll have a video up there soon. Just when I get get a good one. Anyway, uh, and I'm going to switch out a few of these pokes on this team and make it a real OU team. Because I think it'll work. Um, my choice specs, Nine Tails, looks like it's going to be pretty powerful overall. It, and yeah, um, look forward to that. So... Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.